This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. Introduction Plato derived the theory of recollection from Socrates. According to this theory, a person is born knowing everything, and they don't necessarily need to be taught for them to obtain knowledge. This is based on the beliefs of Socrates, whereby a soul is believed to be immortal, it is hence born again and again and possesses all knowledge about the outer and underworld things. What happens is that a person is reminded of what they knew before. As a confirmation of this, a relation is made to Mino's paradox, which states that a man cannot be taught anything since they are all-knowing. This paper will focus on how the theory is approved or disapproved. Socrates Alenkis and Mino's Slave Theory of Recollection Socrates experimented to prove that his theory of recollection was true. In this simple experiment, he used a square diagram that measures 2 centimeters on the sides. He explained to the boy that the square diagram would give a total area of 4 square centimeters and asked him which measurements would give double the area, i.e. 8 square centimeters. After some time of reasoning, the boy confidently said that the measurements of the squares would also have to be doubled, i.e. to be 4 centimeters each. After rethinking again about the answer that he gave and discovering that it was wrong, he was agitated. Socrates justified his theory that the boy automatically knew without necessarily being told that the answer he had given was wrong. This is an implication that he had some knowledge about the answer without necessarily being told and only needed to be guided through the correct procedure of affirming what he knew. Looking at the argument, it may not necessarily mean that the boy had not had prior knowledge of the same. The reason that made the boy rethink his answer was probably that he did a quick calculation that disapproved of the same. The fact that we were not told about whether the boy had had some previous mathematical knowledge that enabled him to do some arithmetic leaves us with the assumption that he had some knowledge of the same. It may not be conclusive to say it was the knowledge that he knew way before he was a human being but the knowledge he acquired in school. However, science tells us that a person is born with a brain that develops as they grow up. There are certain things that a person doesn't need to be taught. For instance, nobody teaches a child to cry when it is born. It becomes automatic that when the baby notices the environmental changes, they feel uncomfortable and start to cry. However, what Socrates implies here may not necessarily be the common sense aspect of the human mind that reacts to the situations around, but rather the technical things that must be learned. The argument could only be proved if Socrates was talking about occurrences that are motivated by the external sensual environment. Socrates' Argument for the Theory of Recollection in the Phaedo In the Phaedo, Plato has described the theory of recollection basically as the ability of a person to remember what they knew before. This knowledge comes after someone has been born and exposed to a scenario they experienced before. According to Phaedo, it is not about what the person knew before they were born, but rather the memories of the things they had seen in their lifetime. For instance, if a person sees a picture of a known legend, they will recollect the memories that they have of such a legend that will make them recollect. On the other hand, an image of something that is not known to them may not have any significance to them simply because they cannot recollect memories of such. Phaedo suggests that there is abstract knowledge that is acquired before one is born, which is approved through the experiences that they go through and other life encounters. Conclusion the theory of recollection was an answer to Mino's paradox that states that man does not learn anything new as what they know is enough, and what they don't know are not necessary. Despite the efforts of Socrates to answer the same, we find that the theory has several loopholes that cannot be ignored. It has been argued that even if there is a possibility that man existed in a particular form before they were born, there was a moment when they were new to the world and had to learn something afresh. There is a difference that has come out clearly concerning the issues that have been learned before, which someone needs to remember, and those that are through abstract knowledge. Sensual things don't need to be learned anywhere, yet there are those technical things that one has to acquire some knowledge for them to know.
This essay on recollection theory in philosophy was written and submitted by a student just like you. The Ivy Panda Samples database hosts thousands of works similar to this one on various subjects. Visit ivypanda.com to find what you are looking for.